All right, so we're gonna be installing the bus bar internally in the Gateway 2 for Tesla. So you come with the bus bar here, comes with your lugs, lugs face down towards the bottom. You can go ahead and put in the two metal screws that come with it. One goes in top and a little brass fitting. Leave that one just slightly loose. Get this guy in here. Tighten it down, tighten it down. Push these two guys underneath. A lot of times what I'll do just two, make two little slits in the side here. And that just allows you to be able to push them down. And I push these guys behind. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little kit with my four plastic screws. So be careful not to lose these. There's only come with four, I don't know why. So this is your label to go on the dead front. So this guy gets flipped around here. You put this little guy, like I said, these guys have to be folded down. Just easier if you do it with a screwdriver sometimes. And then the rest of them will just kind of pop up, so that's why I always make the little slits in them. Put this guy in there. That is just the way I do it. Does not mean that's the way you have to do it. Now these plastic screws work best with a number one Phillips. You can do it with a number two Phillips, but you gotta have a really sharp number two Phillips. This is a pretty sharp number two Phillips, but if you have a number three Phillips, or a number one Phillips, sorry, that will definitely work the best on these little plastic screws. Once you've got them in all the way, tighten them down. Like I said, you have a nice sharp Phillips screwdriver to tighten them. Just push them in and they'll tighten. Then you have your lockdown bar. This must be installed to comply with code because you are dealing with um, sub breakers. So these have to be tightened all the way down. So again, it uses the other screws. So let's go right on top, just like this, and the breakers will go inside. So we're going to go ahead and put these guys in. Again, this is with the plastic screws. Again, they're not as easy ever. Once you've got them going, they'll pretty much go right in. These do not have to be over tightened, just get them snugged up. Like I said, this is the hole down for the breakers. So once you get it down the bottom, go ahead and give it that last little snug up. Give it a little push and a snug. Okay. Once you've done that, you'll get your two uh, pieces of wire here. One's longer than the other. There's a reason for that. So they're already come pre-stripped. You've just got to strip them off. What we're going to do here is kind of show you how they go. There's one longer. You can see one's longer than the other. That is because you are going to put them in crossed. So they will actually be installed one in first and your longer one will come in behind it and be installed in the crossed position like this. Now one other thing, unless your panel is to become the main panel of the house, which normally not done here in California, you need to make sure you remove your bonding uh, bar and bolt nut here so and then it actually says right on there if not service installed make sure you remove this so this guy right here so you're gonna have to go ahead and pull that guy out that unbonds the neutrals and grounds and go ahead and tighten down and torque down your proper torque settings for these guys and like I said these are pre-stripped so all you got to do is really just put a strip down them and they'll come right off they're already pre-cut and everything else and they'll be ready to go and tighten down 
and just put them in tighten them down and you're all good make sure this guy is holding in the breakers and you've installed the uh your bus bar for your breakers for your battery and for your solar and a lot of times for the backup loads panel so as always guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later